Hey engineering students, I'm here to show you in this quick video how to animate the worm gear mechanism. So assuming that you have put together your entire mechanism with the correct constraints in the past video, let's check out how to actually move this worm gear so that it rotates the spur gear. So over in your browser bar, you have two Revolut mates. One is for the spur gear, one was for the shaft with the worm gear on it. So go ahead and select Revolut 2 and Revolut 1, <clears throat> excuse me, in that order. So we have these two selected. Now go up and choose gear relation. And let's change that relation ratio to 36. It takes 360 degrees of rotation on the worm gear in order to spin one tooth on this spur gear. Well, this spur gear has 36 teeth on it, so there are 10 degrees per tooth. So 360 degrees of the worm gear divided by 10 degrees on each tooth is 36 is the ratio. I don't know if we need to reverse the direction until we see this thing in action, so let's go ahead and hit the green check mark. So gear one has shown up at the bottom of your browser bar. Let's go ahead and right click or two finger click Revolut 2 and choose animate. We can create some settings in here. I'm gonna change the steps to about 600. I like to see this in action a little bit more slowly. And I like to change it to loop so I can just see it constantly turning. And then hit play. So I see my worm gear moving much more quickly than the spur gear, that's how it should be. And if I take a look and watch how each turn of this moves, I can see that this is moving up roughly in this direction, and my spur gear is turning clockwise along with it. So that is the proper relationship of the directions, um, so I don't need to hit the reverse button. So this is how you can animate your worm and spur gear. 